Na kuchukua hii wale wote. Thank you for coming. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for coming. And those are things that we don't know. When you join Navi, you become a first class citizen in this country. You must work out what I do at Okia for Devon Eskiaga, you are a Taka or Kwanza. I mean, there are so many benefits. I did a Mauru in Adama Kadawa, near my name with Jeranavi. The good thing about it, I'm in Yapia. You can join Nave if you are 17 years up to 42 years. Come out of the 42 years to call him more than as a join. Manita, don't you want another than I was happy? I'm here with the Kanadu Yakiya. That's where the retirement is. Thank you, Mono. So, so we decided what to do to Tembe Uko. We just have fun to Zunguka Uko Airport. Natulikuwa tunazunguka hivi ndio tule realize kizungu ya huku na ya Germany ni tofauti. <laughs> so tulikuwa tunaongea na kizungu yetu yenye unajua yetu ni raw iko tu vile tulivunzwa na mwalimu kila mtu anatuliza say that again. <laughs> what you say? Tunamwalia tunauliza hii imeandikwa hapo now in English. We are asking this one which is written here. Where do we get this exit? Where do we get it? Mama say that again? What do you mean? Ah, tunazema wachana huyo huyo hata labda hata ajui kizungu. What is it tunaongea nini so we go elsewhere. 
<laughs> Rather tunapata mwingine tunamuuliza. Ah, so we met a black American. Sasa wacha. Sasa <laughs> Sasa kizungu ikapanda gazi. Huyo <laughs> mtu aliongea nikasema, "Huyu ningekuwa mwalimu huyu." Hata yake ziwezi mark na tukua karatasi na rarua. Because he is not talking anything. Mimi hata nilimwambia nilisema kwa in my mind nikasema why can this guy open his mouth and speak? Because I don't understand. And the story goes and goes up. We, we, the worst thing is we lost a bag. And uh, we could not even describe how it looks like. <laughs> Because I don't think they know colors. Those people don't know colors. But they accused us we are the people who don't know colors. So we had a case to prove the following day. And at the end of the day, the lady who was helping us and she was very helpful. She said she does not want to see my face and Kenya Jew's face. Anywhere. Because we don't know colors. Kwambia, yo ni problem Africa. So the, he, he, she actually called another African passing by. Nakamuliza hiyo jacket umevaa ni kala gani? So the guy got it right and we all got it wrong. So he said the problem is not Africa, it is due to Na nyinyi mkienda huko kwa Navy hata kama si taijia Navy. Tafadhali niogelele seni nipewe kazi ya kutangaza hiyo kazi. Kana hata ndo hito. Because let me tell you, a lot of young people will join because what he told me is that if you are, if your child joined navy at 17 years ile pesa inakusumbua ya college hiyo is settled si ndio hiyo huyo mtu watu anasomeshwa mpaka mali anataka sasa imagine mtu ameingia navy akiwa 17 years at least afanye 20 years ata enjoy the full benefit akilitaya akalitaya na miaka 37 37 and full benefit and that is why adhogo muona ka adhogo sana sio score wa jesi ni Oko na mwana miaka 37 ena nyumba yake mwana usu 37 aturaga na bogivara oruraga niki tondu o muisho wa mweli na atomero ke no idu wa gikuyu mwana akwe na miaka 30 na ario gwaku no kuara ria i mean apa na usijali ni doria geke ko dongo ke kono do wakiri akamwene gatiri musi okay usijali na rudi i'm coming back to that what i'm saying is you know sasa nikiogea kizungu na nimeona kwa na kama uwo ko na jeroge but what I'm saying, kama una ajero oge ni oge muno. Si anasi yosu de masi igiragi yako. Maka tuika first class citizen. Iduwe kwa kututura adu tide kanete nao. Neo mare adia water baga. Neo mare adia chicken wings. Na neo mare adia korea koge. So let's take the advantage. Mwanosu ali kia high school. Mwere one Moses. Na one good thing about Moses. He told me, nea hao taka kuwa advice si ya na maigira korea. Ne department hile kwa which department are doing very well in the navy area. Sawa sawa. So thank you. Na tukiona watu kama hawa tunawapia makofi tena. Jameni, thank you. So now ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor and pleasure. Kuna mtu mwingine wa wa, wa hali ya juu hivyo kama hapa. Ndio 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 yako menyana. Ndio ndio kwa tuna pass na tuna menya. Tunauliza is there any other senior person here? Oh, tutaongea nyuma ya hema. No senior like uh, Haya. So, wana Ejidio. Karibu sana Ejidio. Waja tupigie Ejidio makofi mazuri tafadhali. This young man you see here, he has been doing a good job. Tumetembea na ye mara mingi sana. And every time I have a project in Kenya, kama saizi kuna mama ni najengea. Najua tanipea mabati. Karibu sana. Santi sana. So, good evening everyone. Kizungu yenu inatutatisha kidogo. Najua sasa kaukikuyo ndani bado kana sumbua. All L problems. Sindio? Lakini tutakazana, sindiyo? So good evening, billionaires. Good evening, billionaires. Uh, it's a great honor to be here today. Uh, my first time in America has been my dream, and it's now true. I'm here. Stepping on this beautiful land. Um, no. Uh, he, he told me it's a lot of honey and milk. And those that we are from the Kikuyu part of it, I think that is a song that he sang all along until I came here, I realized there is such a country. Is it? You guys are present? 
uh, this is my third, this is almost my fourth week here. I've been here since 20th of November. I first landed uh, in New York, uh, proceeded to Atlanta, Georgia, got very lovely people, proceeded to North Carolina, got some very lovely people as well, proceeded actually, let me be very honest, we were not supposed to come here. I'm for real. <laughs> we met with a guy, um, where is he? I saw, ah. We met with him at Atlanta, Georgia. And I don't me say this. You know, when you're going to a different country and you do not understand anything about them, unakoga kama mono wa meigia shule, hajui chos iko api, hajui dormitories iko api, na hajui parade ni skugani, the confusion, is it? So we met them. I, 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 I like hearing what people think about things. So after our interaction, he told us there are red states and and blue states. Sasa kirele yangu ni kataka kujua red ina maanisha nini. Blue nayo ina maanisha nini. So when we were in Atlanta, Georgia, I think don't think we get a bare whole kilometer. Huko mnaitaga mile. Mna to confuse sana. I will get a bare whole mile without seeing a police officer. So we were told those are police states. Then we came over here. Hapa unasubuka kidogo before one karao. So tukasema, tukona the difference now. So we decided uh, uh, when we were there, let's pass by Atlanta and go to Texas. After, I don't know, pass by Seattle and I then go to, to Texas. <laughs> Bado inaingia. Pole pole tutashika tu. Nipatie ni miezi ingine mbili nitakuwa nikiogea kaa nyingi. So we, we came over here and uh, we landed here on Sunday night at around 1 a.m. in the morning. Then we checked in, we slept. The following day there were like seven visitors. And I asked which is this state again? Seattle. Second day we came a group of around 15. The third day, we got around 17, and I said, I'm not going to Texas. <laughs> I canceled it off, and I said, because of the hospitality that you guys showed us, I have to do something before I leave here. And that is why I organized a very, thank you very much for showing up with that short notice. It was indeed short because we had no plans for that. But again, I wouldn't have left Seattle without appreciating the good love you guys have shown us. Call for yourself. <laughs> so Kinanju is a, is, a, is a man, of course, uh, hailed from uh, Moraga County, born in a family of five, last born of a beautiful mother called uh, Agnes Rogoro. Dad passed when I was six years old. Um, in my last of my life, I've known my mother to be the dad and the father of the family. I got lucky, got a good education, went to Vika Technical, did engineering, mechanical engineering, production option, left mechanical, left Vika Technical, went to the streets to look for better living. Along the street, I met a very uh, organized man called Genya Karioki, who hails from Moranga. Genya, Genya Karioki. I know most of you know him. I exactly. So he decided to mentor me. And of course, uh, first things first, he told me, forget about the engineer, let's get to insurance a bit. So I practiced insurance from 2013 to around 2015. I, during the insurance practice, I, scaled, I started in UAP as a sales as a salesperson. I uh, scaled up uh, to a unit manager, Nikaibu on a Jubilee Insurance. Left Jubilee Insurance, Nikaibo na ICA Lion. Left ICA Lion when I was a branch manager, Vika. So I, I decided one day I woke up and I decided um, I'm not doing this thing again. That is when I got my first born. Boma si ni boma. Nilisikio kumu natupangwa na email. Sasa si kwetu unajua vitu ni tofauti kidogo. So I got there and uh, that beautiful wife encouraged me 
push uncertain journey to real estate. So I got to real estate as a sales person to begin with. Uh, when I got to real estate, the passion was there, the drive was there, and the determination was there. You know, everybody tries to change the story and the narrative. I told you I'm the last born, and the only Godfather you know is God the heaven, God in the heaven, is it? So I tried my level best and it worked. So within a short duration of around one year, I had my seven million in my bank account. So I decided uh, this is a journey that I want to take for the rest of my life. Beauty about it is we schooled, we were schooled by properties that dad left. So mom alikuwa na uza shamba, akiuza shamba, muna rudi shule. Munafukuzo, munafukuza. Now being the last one, you are the person to suffer. Sababu wawo napataga pesa ikiisha, isha kidowa. Sawa, sawa. So by the grace of God, uh, we managed and I managed uh, to, to scale up. So in real estate, I worked for Mahiga. Most of you call me asking me that. Yes, I did. And I want to confirm this on camera. Yes, I did. I worked with Mahiga for when they were startup for eight months. Uh, and during that eight months was also a learning process for me. Yes, we did not disagree on so many, but um, I felt I can do much better. You know, Mwarimu kikufunza si unaweza kuwa mjaja kuliko Mwarimu. So I decided to scale up, and that is why I interacted with so many, and then I decided to move out. When I decided to move out, apparently, I think they were in a trip somewhere, and mutumoja ni kipanga kalik information. And now, before, <laughs> it can grow up with them, and it wasn't good for me to exit because they had a lot of good, good faith and confidence in me, but I had to at the end of the day. So I moved out, um, looked for the name Wilston Holmes, actually in collaboration. Most of you know me, but we are three of us. There's a guy called Patrick Thomarigi, and another guy called Victor Moasia Cosmas. I'm the oldest in the team. So you can imagine how we get on your mind. So um, very young, vibrant guys who had a dream back then. I had the dream. I had the know-how. I know where we would start and where we would begin. So we looked for lad to kachanga pesa. We looked for lad in Kagudo Road. Our first lad was five acres per Kamuru Road area. So the price of the lad was thirty-seven million. So first things first, we, we approached a lady who used to live in Modaiga. So when Tulimu approached the lady, we, they, she decided to introduce us to their legal representative. When we went to the legal representative, Jeremy Almesema nilikuwa ni mekonda. So you can imagine the first impression. Wakiri ya kakata tuuziwe shamba. Akasema, these guys are jokers, they don't look like they have money. Our are con men. So, apparently, the lady called us behind the bars. We told her our intention, the amount of money we had, and she agreed to do the transaction without the lawyer. Sawa, sawa. So, uh, when we did that, we did our first deposit was around 20 million. Then the balance we agreed we're going to pay her within 90 days. We paid it in two months, 60, 60 days, and we were good to go. She bought the first houses, three houses, in that particular land. So, pesa ingine ya mwisho, tulikatana manyumba. Sawa sawa, tukumulipa yoda tulikatana manyumba. First inspiration she got from us was, she told, she told me actually, if my sons had your dream, they could be anything else. But because they decided not to be you, I'll make you my son. So the journey started from that particular point. So we did our first estate, uh, considering the, the nature of the business at that particular point. This is a story I've never shared. So you guys are privileged to get the story first hand information. So um, we decided because the problem was everybody in the market Alikuwa nasema, kuna kampuni ukinunua Kenya, hazi jengi. Sawa, sawa. So our first endeavor was 
we try and change that particular narrative. So our first estate, we built it within eight months and it was done. So in the completion process, we sold Gradview Estate. This, that was our second estate. And now because of the problems that came after uh, our first estate, there was the challenge of quality homes again. Now the story changed from the duration and the completion of the house to another one of quality homes. So we decided to scale up the game a bit so that we match the market demand. So on the second, we decided to import some of the things from China. That was Mabati and some interior fittings. If you go to all our estates, you'll find Gradview has a very unique finishes of importation. And then we realized Izomirago Zikiharibika, they are not readily available in the market. So our setback now began there. And then we decided now moving forward, let's stop importing and try and make our own in Kenya such that if one spoils, we'll get an replacement of a similarity of whichever thing that you need in that particular estate. So we scaled up the game to SPAC 1 and SPAC 2. It's been a journey until where we are. Um, it has not been easy, I must confess. Actually, Jeremy Atakisema Nanona, ni pressure. Ni pressure. You don't sleep in peace, you do not wake up in peace. It's my norm on a regular 365 days in a year. Sometimes I know you blame me, I don't receive calls. But trust you me, there are times I, I see your call and I wish not to. Because the amount of pressure in my head, if we do a conversation, because so sometimes when I'm too much pressurized, I avoid calls completely. Because I don't want to tell you something you'll use tomorrow against me and I will not be able, I will not be able to defend myself. So I decide at times to choose when to and when not to. But because I have competent guys, right now we pride with having a labor force of around 1,500 people who depend on Wilson Aron. So if, if sometimes you see these wars online, Kenyajui, 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 sometimes I think of the 1,500 and I say it's better I face things as a man face to face to face. So the journey has been there. We've been very consistent in the market. I know we've built houses. That's a, that's a pride. But again, the problem came. We decided to focus more on construction without aligning our paperwork. Then the issue of titles got us along the way and people now started demanding the titles. The game shift has been we build, we build, we build as we also upload all those titles out there for processing without facilitating them. They took a little bit wrong. We were not able to now produce them with the immediate effect as customers were requesting them. So we sat back, we sat down as board of directors and decided let's now give priority to the titles. It's impossible. I'll say this. Lord, there's one guy, there's one lady who called me a Kanyabia. Nimenunua EMG. Let's say nimtaja sabo boni lafikia ngo sana. Adro. Adro pole sana kama nimekutumia vibaya. Nilinunua EMG na within two months, no, within 30 days when go ame nipea title hangu. I understand it's very possible. But again, when it goes to the housing effect, it's a totally different story. Are we together? Let me explain something. For me to generate a title, I have to have three things at hand before I even think of doing the titling. One, I have to have a consent signed by the client. Secondly, I have to have approvals of that particular estate. Thirdly, I have to have a surveying mutation. From that particular point, if I have the three documents, I submit them to the relevant authority, county level, first. Sawa, sawa. If I, produce, I submit it at the county level, 
it is taken to a planning physical it's called physical planning department they sit down they normally sit like once in every in three months sawa sawa the game changes they can sit once in three months or once in five months depending na ile wako wako nayo so they, they, they you submit them there when they see it it is not mandatory they have to approve they can return it for amendment sawa sawa and then you resubmit back again are we together and i want this is information that is in public domain go and confirm once you resubmit again they have not to also call another meeting they discuss the same amendment so at the point of approval you know our kenyan system how it works you have to greet someone are we getting it you have to greet isha peter lakini you you have to greet someone be your opera the physical papers but again because the mother title is still in my name mumefanya search i'm i am you know i get notifications za search zikifanywa ah mumefanya search muona bado iko ada wilson haijachajiwa na bank I can swear to God I have never taken a loan facility with your properties. The only actual loan facility we have with Wilston Homes is a equipment. Gari the site na tiga the site. Mimi hata gari yangu venye naendesha iko na loan ya bank. Because I cannot afford to buy a straight whole that all million ni cash out at once dio nifanye hizi vitu. Are we getting that? This industry is very volatile. I will tell you I wake up in the morning uliacha bank account ikiwa zero unaamka unapata uko na 57 million. If you are not psychologically prepared where that money goes you can mess the entire system within one one day. So this calls for so much of a personal discipline person to make sure that we still stick to the dream that you guys must get your houses and not just a house right now i will tell you we are competing with uh, companies like mivida in kenya tatu city in kenya and you know these are these are white guys that have come to do to do the business back at home so the type of quality the type of finishing the way of construction that they are engaging it's quite on point ni kama huko venye tumetembea tumepata vitu mingi ziko raini sana until unatamani hata wewe ufike that level whereby you can do these things in that capacity and with the same standard so all this has been done and they have been done perfectly and wilson we are trying to push it even way further to make sure that you want you do not lose your investment and at the same time you get the value for whichever money you invest with us thank you very much guys you guys have been amazing so amazing because you've supported us through the campaign and mind you there you know every my houses i sell them when they are starting all our houses we sell them when they are starting out of the 100% 40% do not get to 100% of the journey so out of 100% 40 or 30% what are we the draw around the way So if kama mtu ametoa 3 4 million 5 million lazima ni mrudishie. Are we getting that? So alongside constructing I'm still refunding money. <laughs> are you are you are you getting the whole narrative? Alongside I'm constructing I have that budget kuna mtu mwingine pia is aid nyingine amegojea check. And that is why you will never see anywhere else except who you are juicy wa had it thousand if i have refunded a whole hooping 7 million why would i not refund a hard thousand are you getting that so it is it is very consistent and it's very straightforward we are very transparent i can say that on record because again we chose that as a way of doing business and that will not change until we are until we end the journey of house construction so that is that is what it has been and we have done that with a lot of humility most people ask me where did you get all this money from i'm only from <laughs> i've never said my age but i'll say because i celebrated my 34th birthday this year 
I hate saying it because someone might judge it wrongly. Ataona mtoto baraona the biashara in it. So I started it when I was 27 years old and God has been grace that we we are where we are right now. So lastly and not least most of the people before I um Mama George ya kuku. Mama George si mama. Mama George was my first customer. Not in, not in Wilston, elsewhere. And I've moved around with her until today. So there has been a lot of tremendous change. We are sasa ndio ananijua. Ananichekelea kwa sababu nilikuwa naka gari kingine kaliwa kana simaga kwa barabara. Nikienda kumuonea nyumba zake. But again, it has been very progressive. The journey has been very awesome. We appreciate your support. We also apologize for any inconvenience. My people would have cost you at any given point. The journey is not ever easy. At times you get home and kids are there and how to money kuwaona. Because again the pressure is too much and because we want to make this thing work and at the same time people here have a lot of expectations from you then you have to scale up and level up at the same time to make sure that I give you value for what it is that you want. And because right now we've visited here God's grace has been very sufficient. We've gone to other countries a couple of time, but this time round we decided to come here to make sure that you put the face of who Kenya Jew is in Wilson. So that next time you will tell whomever it is I met the guy. I know the guy. We've interacted with the guy. And let me tell you, money will not will never change anybody. It's their character, whichever way. Are we together? So if I ever change on you, do not ever fail to hesitate to tell me the truth that I'm not the Kenya Jew you knew from the day day one. Are we getting that? I'll scale up, I'll style up, and make sure that I apologize for that. Thank you very much. And before before I, before I hang up on this, let me end with a story that inspires me so much. A story is given of a son of a daughter and a father they were coming from a revival um and when the, the revival ended a church revival like today we were in a tunaitaga watu wa sabato leo tumeshida na watu wa sabato my first time being in a sda church protocol you require na tuchanganya kidogo but how you know to remove we boss just here unaisoma tu lakini god has been faithful so i told this story of a father and a daughter they were coming from a revival and uh, the father decided to dare the daughter to drive her home to drive him home and along the way as they were going home um a few min min minutes after they left there came a very big storm and now uh, as you know ladies panic a lot i don't know wangu kama wana panicking Zile story na naambiwa ama ni watu wananinda gaya? Ha? Wakwetu, acha nisema wakwetu. Wangu wa mpanikingi. Wakwetu as 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 wakwetu wana panikingi. So that after the storm came, the big storm. And the daughter faced the dad and told her, I told the dad, um dad, can I pull over so that you take over because you're experienced driver. The daughter the, the, the father told the daughter no let's let's keep going the storm as they were going the storm in crystal lot and now those cars that were ahead of them were pulling over so that they because they could not see clearly around them around the road and the daughter insisted dad can we exchange so that you come show me oh so because i can't see anything and the dad insisted let's still keep going After some several miles uh the storm was over and now the storm was behind them and now the dad told the daughter just pull over just now pull over and exit the car i want you to say something what can you see behind the father asked and the daughter told her i can see the storm that we've we've already passed through 
The, do- the, sa- the father told the daughter, no, that is not what I want you to see. What else are you seeing? The daughter said, I can't see anything else except that. Where are the cars that pulled over during the, the storm? The daughter told the dad, the cars are still in the storm. Are we getting that? And the, the father told the daughter, that is what I wanted you to realize. At times, if you pull over over a storm, you still remain in the, in the storm. But if you persevere and come through the storm, at the end of the day, you'll just look behind and see the storm behind you. Are we getting that? So in whichever case that could be there, in whichever storm that we could be through, let's still soldier on to finish up the journey and make sure at the end of the day, we'll see the storm behind us. Have a lovely evening. You guys are blessed and I love you all. All right, now, uh, before Kenya Jui go, tumpige makoi mazuri. Yani, mutoku wa miyaka zate fo, ata mene mejua hivo, anaweza fanya kazi mzuri sana. Sindio yo, tumpige makoi mazuri tafadhali. Amen. And uh, I know how Kenya Jui work hard. Mi najua, ata jiu naona sasa jiu natuwaka jaso ni kupigia sasa. Ya, 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 ya. Unajua napigia gia Kenya Jui, nikipigua na customer kikosa Kenya Jui ni mimi wanapigia gia. Anambia hey, jera mewa tuna ile mtu mtu toya kazi mtu ndani jeza Kenya ajuko na wajaka niteta mwaki. Kenya ajui na kaja woi nyuma msemani so you are doing a good job and we are going to support you and that's that's my prayer and that's my urge. If you want to invest with uh, with Williston Homes I mean definitely I'll tell you you get your home. So Kenya ajui hapa kwa hiyo meza yako make sure you you see something uh, like this uh, kama na kama huna uulize upewe. Uh, Sylvia, kama kuna mtu hana, make sure you give them these flyers. Uh, I have them here. Uh, nataka kenyanjuka ina yako moja. Oh yeah, yes, yes. Make sure you give them. Because pare kenyata road ni kama tu, tumeuza sana. I mean, I think we have sold a lot of uh, estate there at kenyata road. Na sijui, before we go to Mang. Before we go to this one, this estate you are seeing here, it's along the road. Na kuni mahali kuna itwa mangu. Mangu watu wengi wanajua because mangu that's where Kibaki went for school. Ata mimi nilikuwa nimeenda hapo shule. Nikafanywa interview. Unajua mwenye mtu anafanya kwa interview ndio uingie because kwa tunijuja. So the principal called me and asked me I want you to answer these three questions. If you get them right, we're going to enroll here in Ma- at Mang High School. Mimi Kiswahili atuko tunapelekana. So akaniambia, "Mwenda Tenzi na Omo?" Arejeo ndamani. Wewe nisema huyo hajajua nini Eliu. Wewe tunajua kuna sababu nyingine inaitwa Eliu. Sasa badala ya niseme Mwenda Tenzi na Mwenda Tenzi na Omo, arejeo ni ngamani. Mimi nilisema Mwenda Tenzi na Omo huyo hajatumia nini? Eliu. Mwalimu akaniangalia hivi akazidi wakaribu tu na yake huko. Alafu akaniuliza tena, "Haya, andika hili sentence kwa udogo." Lori la mawe limewekwa governor. Ati? Lori la mawe limewekwa governor. Sasa mimi nilisema sikuweka karoli kama wewe kwenda. <laughs> nilisema pick up ya kakoto imewekwa senator. Hao ni watu wana hiyo na mangu. But at least ni naishi tu hapo karibu. So unajua hii mangu. Eh at pick up ya kakoto imewekwa senator we. So now tell us about uh mangu and then I'll let people ask questions if they have and also if you have a concern about any estate you have invested with you can as well ask your question. Any question? Leo tumewaweka hapa kwa kamera. Haya, Kenya Jui tueleze kuhusu mangu. Um So, um after Kenya Road, uh mashaba zimekuwa gari sana. Uh we decided uh we try other areas. When we first got to Kenya Road, a whole acre was going to around 13 million. Then by the time we were exiting, a whole acre was going for 22 million. So it got very impossible to do business in Kenyatta Road. I think the most recent quotation or offer letter I got from the vendors 
was 25 million. And ask myself, uh, if I buy at 25 million, how much am I selling the house at? I can't sell to you a house, a banger at 15 million. You in a car, a mimi na ku exploit, nyo. So we decided uh, we get off the area. Uh, after now, we went to Ruiru. Ruiru mashaba ziko, lakini pia Ruiru, a whole lake right now in Ruiru is going between 25 to 32. Mashaba kwenu, mamjarudi Kenya, munashtuka. Ruiru and Kenyatta Road is very near to Nairobi. So most people uh, want to move from the upper part of Nairobi, the Kirimani, the Kireration. As it's same, you can buy a buy. If you have some investment, still cool places. But unajua kuna lika inafikanga, uwezi ka uko, sinio? Muziki na pigwa volume ya 85, unajiuliza ni kwako ama ni kulentu merenti. Is it? But with our gated community set up, now we are all some bit of regula regulations. We are all, thank you. We are all some bit of regulations. Those are some of the key areas. We look, sababu, naeza kuwa ni menonulia mama yagu nyumba, akae huko, alafu muweke volume ya 85, tupigane. Na unujo kwezu tunapiganaga zika mawu kwenu. <laughs> Sindiyo? Sababu utapigia mama yagu kerere hivo ya 85, Volume, sini yu asi, yata halibika masikio. Na hiyo tema anastrago na hile kidogo wamebakisha kusikia venye, ama asikia wajuku wake venye wako. So we decided um, to try some other areas. We got another new area behind um, Mangu High School. Mangu High School behind it, there's a new school that have come there recently. Inaitua Zitek College. Ni venye atotaki kuwambia, lakini ya chani wambia ni ukwe. Iko opposite venye ni. I don't know what it is. Stage opposite. Ah, go iyo eri na ito tora na nyuma ya tora ni go ego. Sindiyo, iko hapo. So ah, uh, six six hundred meters from Tamak. Beautiful, a very beautiful land. There behind it, we have Aga Khan go down. The pharmaceutical and some bit of hot hot kacha. Hot kacha ni zile wagojo ana wana bikiya wogo kwa Aga Khan. So they have a very two big massive go downs there and we are before them. So we decided to get to try that lot. In total, we have around, uh, we are pro prospecting around 44 acres. But we decided to start with first 11 acres. Uh, we decided to split it in two. For the first time, na Jeremy, sorry, si jakuambia hibi, na jua uliyacha ni kipika. We opened another new company, ya kuuza mashamba, inaito Uboni Investment. So we decided to jaribu pia uboni investment ka to ape 5 acres sisi to jege 7 acres. So there's a court there and before we came here hawa wali ipea jina inaitua Seattle. That is where it is called Seattle court. Najua mtu anafikiria wali inemu hivyo sababu wa siniri kuambia huku watu kwa watu kuja. So, so it, it was inaitua kwa promonation nama inaitua kwa it's, it's a promotion. Eh? It's a promotion, uh, I think, that came with them. And they decided, we decided to reward, actually, the U.S. people for the support they have given us. And the easiest name that came in their mind was Seattle. So they decided in Mangu Group, first estate there will be named Seattle Court. It's our usual uh, format of housing, a three-bedroom bagaro. But it's a bit modified because we decided to change our roof for the first time in that particular project. We did, we've been used to maroon. Now we decided to do chaco gray. Chaco gray, why? Because maroon weather in a haribu sana. So we, and chaco gray is on a high resistance. So we decided to try chaco gray there. Uh, and also introduce inbuilt kitchen. Inbuilt kitchen, ni ikona hood. Hood ni ile ya kunyonya moshi. Na hiko na bana. Bana si ile ya six bana. Ati ile ya kuzimama ni ile. Iyo hob. Mwona iyo hob. Kale unaweza beba hivi kama. Hizi DJ. Akana toshana hizi nini za DJ ya hapa. And then it has a microwave. Those. Ha, nyuba 9.9 inakuja na hizo. Sawa sawa. Now we decided because uh, it's a new market. We don't want to sell it very expensive because also lard was very expensive. For those who do not know, before we arrive at the price, there's two constant things in that price. Lard 
ni pesa gapi unaweka kado kujenga hiyo nyumba ni pesa gapi unaweka kado alafu of course jio watoto wa Kenya juu pia wasitoe white hair wakiwa wadogo wanawekewa kitu yao hapo juu sawa sawa ndio nao biashara pia ifanyike hao watu usipowalipa hawezi kuja kazi na kwetu hakunaga email ati hautakuja ndio unakosa kukuja umuoni tena sawa sawa na hakuna mahali unaweza mpeleka sababu hata ukimpeleka kotini atahogana na atatoka pandane tu kwa street so we decided uh, let's come up with a new price and that is why we gave it at 9.95 a three bedroom bungalow with a servant quarter seated on a 50 by 100 in a gated community with a commercial center a gym facility and a basketball pitch for our young generation our houses we pride in because if you buy our house and feel to live in you can rent it out sawa so, sawa so, best still if you have dependents back at home that highly depend on you you can settle them Or alternatively you can buy it off plan and sell it when it is ready all those three options are there there are people who are doing that business in a big way and my biggest client in Seattle ni mmoja hayuko huko anaitwa Mary Stataja Apili she has six houses huyo ni wa huko my biggest in Kenya anaitwa Billy Stataja Apili he has 12 houses na actually si mkikuyu he is a rule sawa sawa we pride in that because people see the value of the houses and they want to invest more nyumba zake ananunuaga house zangi he lent them out sawa sawa rental income in kagudo road for those estates are in kagudo road are averaging between 30 to 40000 kenyatta road is averaging between 50 65000 there is even one that is meant to 70000 uh, uh missionate are going for around 100 to 110 whatever it is sawa so, sawa so you can choose to do business with it and today because jeremy these people have been very amazing to us tumezungushwa sana tukikula nyama huko kwa wenyewe sana na bado niko na deni kama tano sijaenda bado i think between before ni token ndio huwa nimetembea ni kule nyama i'll give them a discount of 300000 for today's purchase. Awesome. Thank you. Haya. <laughs> Sasa nikumaanisha kama nyumba iko 9.95 utanunua 9.65 million. Na ukiongea vizuri labda ataondoa hata hiyo 100 ununue 9. Eh, si unajua ukisamua kufanya vizuri si wafanya vizuri kabisa. Yeah, I'm saying for these people, not for wale wanatuona kwa mitandao. Nyinyi mnatuona kwa mitandao ni 300. Lakini wale watakuja saa hizi wakijisikiza vizuri. I think it's a good price. Na mimi by the way, wito ni witeithie. Hawa raigwa haleto witeithie. Mami ito ikaraga ha witeithie ni hode mwakeire. So so ito ni hode mwakeire. Ado ito thema ikaraga witeithie. So when you are talking about witeithie, I know it very very well. So kama unataka I mean, if you want to buy, I think you guys going to have somewhere they can come and book. Mm-hmm. I'll make sure muna pata a table pale upate Sylvia. We have Sylvia. Where is Sylvia? We have Sylvia. We have Leah. Okay, yeah, baby muke. Ho leto ile totoro hiru ya tafadhali. Just come here, come here, Morris. And uh, these people, mimi nikienda kwa shaba. Hawa ndio nakutaga huko kwa shaba all the time. Na kuna mmoja hayuko hapa anaitwa Doris. Yes, yes. Na wanajua wanajua Doris. So these ladies if you want a house hiyo moja ya hapo na Morris. Morris by the way every project nia na zanga na maombi tukifungua. Hata kama hapa hata hapo Kenyatta Road ni yeye yeah, ni mkamba muobaji sana. Eh? Every time you go to a land yeye yeah, ndiye anafunguaga na masaba na bia Mungu tunaanza hii shaba. Hatujui customer watatoka wapi but we believe that God is going to help me. Like the estate we gave in August. Yeye yeah, ndiye yeah, mimi nilichiba simu ya kwanza and i thank god to repair na hiyo tunaenda kupea na bado it was the same estate so eh usiniagusie simu tafadhali thank you mono menyi tere so uh so if you want a house if you want a book mangu uh group uh please make sure na kwanza inaitwa siato code hii msikubali watu wa Arizona wachukue hii msikubali watu wa Alabama wachukue hii ni asiato ndio mkizeeka in the next 20 years so and of course the good thing about these people they let you customize i mean na nyumba ni dani 
the way you make your house inside is the best thing nyumba unaweza kuwa nayo baya ije lakini ukigia ndani ona huko tu nyumba tauko mtu ona kanaoneka nyumba aja kahana kitu kingi but ukigia kwa hiyo nyumba unashitwa jesu kali heaven <laughs> yeah, so it is possible so that's what well, that's a plus for you guys for letting these people invest and uh, customize their houses so before anything else i want to open this chance for you kama uko na swali imekuwa ikikuumiza kutoka 2022 ah tuseme tuanze 2019 wakati nilianza na na wilson homes we are going to give you this opportunity ask that question na tutakukujibu haya na leo toa microphone tirage dire uto kwaria na kiria Haya okay sawa ah uh, leke twambiria uh, yes ketwambiria na mamu haria ask your question ah uh, kuja hapa nani okay go ahead mami thank you hii sorry nauliza bwana Kenya njui kwa sababu Kenya njui wewe na nikienda huko nini wakati tulienda Kinyata road kwanza nilikuwa nimekupigia simu na tulikuwa kwa hoteli na mzee Mm-hmm. na tukapelekwa na huyu kijana anaitwa nani kwa kijana na siku hizi akafanya huko kwenu mm-hmm. akatupelekwa kwa Ruiro tukaona hizo nyumba za Ruiro lakini mzee hakupenda huko mm-hmm. tukaenda Kinyata Road mm-hmm. akaona huko ni kuzuri mm-hmm. na tukasema acha tuchukue mzee akasema naweza chukua hizi mbili eh tukauliza tukaambia mkichukua hizi ni vizuri mtajengewa na by August no ilikuwa ilikuwa by by April mm-hmm. tutakuwa tumepewa hizo nyumba zitakuwa zimemalizika na mtapewa kulingana na vile mtatoa pe uh-huh. sasa sisi tulitoa pesa kusema kweli uh-huh. na moja ndio tulikuwa tunataka ijengo vile tulikuwa tunataka sitaki kusema uh-huh. na hiyo ingine hata tu kujenga uh-huh iko tu hapo lakini tumeilipia kila kitu mm-hmm. na hii nyingine hata imebaki kitu kama 1. Point something million mm-hmm. <laughs> na sasa tunajipangaga kuja tunapiga simu naambio na four man wako ayub uh-huh. <laughs> eh, eh, mama tunajaribu tulikuwa tumekosa hii lakini tutakujaribia nika morini akanitumia akaniambia toa pesa iko pesa unatakiwa utoe nikawauliza nitatoa hizi pesa na hata nyumba nimetoa karibu pesa yote nimebaki 1 million uh-huh. na kitu mhm uh-huh. nika na ni nyumba mbili unajua uh-huh. sasa nikakuwa stranded yes, sasa done. nikaambia mzee uh-huh. eh vile tutafanya uh-huh. atutaenda this disemba nimeambiwa paka tena june sasa sijui june pia itakuwa ko ama itakuwa namna gani yes it gani gai pengine niangalie kwa simu agaria mm. <laughs> Kenya tarod tuko Kenya tarod hizo kwanza moja ni bangaru hapo chini mm. kot but ya ni reason sana but ya hapo chini hata ngoje nikuonyeshe <laughs> muangalie haya tafuta pole pole hey. utatuambia we are here for you lazima hizo maswali yote Kenya juu ujibu kot b if kama ni kot b hadova yake haiezi kupitisha february eh hey, exactly and by february yes pitisha why the reason is let me explain this when we started uh, winsa a and b and winsa annex sababu hiyo swali ya annex itakuja na jua we decided to incorporate a new technology ya kukoroga nyumba inaitwa ecobi Basically nyumba Kenya tumezoea unafuga chuma alafu unazipaga chini na bao au unapaga bao chini unazipaga juu unamwagilia concrete unakoroga hiyo inaitwa RC So instead of that we decided to employ an new technology unaweka beams alafu mahoro blocks alafu unaikoroga So those those particular houses we got some orders for eco beam eco beams zinatengenezwa na muhidi mmoja Kenya ukapata walifanya more advertisement but hawana capacity already ume, umeletewa beams lakini hujaletewa hollow blocks ama umeletewa beams na hazitoshi but hollow blocks ziko huwezi ikoroga so we decided uh, we paid the, we had paid the entire amount but production took a little bit longer so that is why there was a big massive delay 
for Windsor Court A, Court B, na Court na Windsor Annex 1. That is why zile nyumba zikuwa zimekorogwa ili rudishwe the normal way zikaenda RC. So that backlog of 6 months it mess the entire schedule for delivery. And that is why I'm assuring you right now as it is by February mwisho mtakuwa na hizo nyumba. By February mwisho. June ni mana resident. Actually July August ni mana resident. Si winsa So uh hiyo tumeweka on record kabisa. Amesema lini? By end of February. My friend, keep following me. Hiyo February nitakuwa hapo. Sawa. Kwa nyumba yako. I'll be there. Kabisa. Kabisa. Thank you. Any other person with a question? Oh, yes ma'am, please. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Go ahead. Pia mimi niko nazo lakini zangu niliambiwa ni sasa juu ni A ama ni B. Yeah. Oh, ah. Uh. Lakini kwa Kinyata Road. Yeah. Mm. Ziko. Eh. Na uliza kama ziko. Eh nimeambiwa ziko. Eh nimeambiwa ziko. Mambo hizo ziko. Hizo ziko. Eh lakini mimi sijamaliza kulipia ziko mbili. Ziko mbili. Eh lakini sijamaliza kuku. Actually for a matter of record hizo zina zinafaa kuanza ni hard over hizi. So sababu the entire labor you will realize in construction you cannot keep on recruiting. Unaruzigi quality. So unatoaga team moja ikitoka huku unai transfer to estate nyingine. Kama for instance hapo kuna Elgon, Lenana na kuna Batianizo Marshallet. Hizo estate zote zinaanza after he had over. And because we are in the festive seasons ara eh? <laughs> and lenana hizo hizo because right now we are in the festive season by the time to malize hizo kuweka program nyingine itakuwa very tricky so we can only start it in january okay then that's why we need it you need to na hizo na sijamaliza unaweza kukuwa ama lazima nimalize hizo kwa mimi usema if kama unajiamini mimi nitakuamini. I will tell you of a case. Right now to be very honest, I didn't want to say it on camera. People who owe us money, we have around 1.76 billion pesa nje. I will tell you this. At times I want to do something big time. But again, umeniriria. Like I'll give a case Jeremy called me saa sita usiku yake. Already called me sita mtanda jina akaniambia Kenya Njui I'm experiencing this. Ya kwanza ilikuwa divorce. I'm experiencing divorce. It gonna take time. Give me like six, eight months. And I told her if wewe ni sawa but ukipata kitu rushia hawa watu. Six months ikaisha, eight months ikaisha, one year ikaisha. Venye alipigiwa akasema hata nilikojeka akavumiliwa tena one year six months ikahika nika, nika watu wa ofisi waka meet nikiwa UK wakamnyaganya nyumba kwa venye walimnyaganya nyumba akapigia Jeremy venye alipigia Jeremy Jeremy akamuuliza wewe sasa uliwalipa 3.7 unawabakishia 5. Point something million wamekuvumilia mwaka sasa watakosa kukunyaganya nini Do you know that lady paid that money in less than a week? To some extent, I want to also be very human in this transaction. Also on your end also try to a little bit be human as well. Because mimi sita pay a food story ikifika Saturday. Si food ya kwa hapo anagojea pesa yake Saturday. Subcontractor amegojea pesa yake Saturday. Mtu wa kwale amegojea pesa yake Saturday. So at times I'm not able to withhold that pressure at any given point. But again, because I also want to help in. I will tell you of cases during COVID we lost clients because of COVID who live here. But trust you me, kama clients alikuwa meripo over 75%, hatukuwa tunadai hiyo pesa. Tulikuwa tunapeana hiyo nyumba, we write off them. Are you getting that? It has happened. 
But because these people cannot come out clearly and say, walinipea nyumba, because ya, umeshika. Nye, ah, si hata si pride. Sisi, sisi tunapenda kukiritisize sana for much. Uyo mtu anawopa muta mwenye share na maneno. I feel intimidated at any given point. The good things we do sometimes are behind the, the table. But again, the bad thing at times, hata kama ni kadogo aje, they are always on. I will tell you today, those people who fight us are not people who own homes with us. Are we getting that? That that one I can tell you to take to the bank. Ukiona mtu wa meadika ubaya wa Wilston online, most cases, ni mtu haja nunua nyumba na sisi. Na ti hata kununua, hawezi hata afford yo nyumba. But what do they do? They spoil the name. Diyo wa unaweza kununua, usi? Asante sana Kenya Njui. Wacha ni 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 organize hii. Ah uh, sema mami. Ah uh, ndio unasema. Ah uh, hii ni okay. Naona mpaka umetumiwa ya site na this was on Monday July 10. That's the last time. Tyler's umechagua umechagua naona hapo. Okay. Hii hii estate yako mimi mwenyewe nitajipeleka. Okay. Uh, coming week. Yes. Uh, somebody else with a question? Yeah, I'm coming to you. <laughs> Wacha niende kwa my good friend here. Uh, she used to live in Birmingham. Hi. She kwa nae Birmingham, sio? Yeah. Shika hii microphone. Okay. Very good question. Abarien. Nzuri. Um thank you so much for the investment that what you've done for 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 people in diaspora and back home. Keep it up. Thank you so much. Mungu aendelee kukubariki. Asante sana. Now, I have two issues. Mm-hmm. Um I live somewhere near hapo Mangu. But Vika mm-hmm. and Utibia is known for we all know those who come from the central region, we know the meaning of the name. Thugs, nini, situnanjua. So I'm wondering, mm-hmm. uh, you find when what you and ask for buy the houses, mm-hmm. they need security. Mm-hmm. For example, where I stay, you have people staying away for even two years. Mm-hmm. So being near Wetabia. And I can actually see Hapotola. Insecurity uh, yeah, with the team. Mm-hmm. What have you done about that? Mm-hmm. Because we need to buy the homes and then leave them to be here. We will mm-hmm. not employ security. So what have you done about the security? Question number two. Uh, we have people buying homes and uh, along the way, Mungu anawachukua. Mimbi wa single parent. Are the houses insured or is there in, any insurance to cover that? Let's say like I buy a home. Can my children be around? Like in the bank, we get insurance, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, now for you. Do you give us insurance or Jeremy? Siana siya kwa ni kuingata. Yeah. <laughs> no, but you will tell us about it. Uh, you let me pick like four questions. Because of time. Somebody else with a question? My sister here. Hey, Kenyajui. I know we met uh, in Kenya February yeah, sure. and uh, you guys are doing a good job. That's all I can say because okay. I went to visit to visit a friend who came from here who mm-hmm. lives there mm-hmm. and apparently after seeing that friend's house mm-hmm. that's how i got to uh being talked to by the house mm-hmm. and i was dealing with zach who is a, an amazing guy mm-hmm. uh the issue i have is communication in your office uh-huh. i would request you guys to change the whole setting because when we are here sometimes if we pay, for instance you're paying uh 500 or whatever amount of money mm-hmm. trying to just reach out to the office so that you can get somebody to tell to write a receipt to you it is very hard me personally have sent money uh, uh it has taken three weeks even a month just trying to push hey can i just get a receipt for that i even don't know how much they've received on the other end another thing is uh, if you guys say you're going to finish a house in certain duration of time let it be that if you can't finish then you say hey uh this is what is going to happen uh-huh. because like now when i started the project february 
I thought maybe because I'm paying too fast because I needed that house, I thought I would go by December mm -hmm. and you guys were promising. Uh, that's what I was told by uh, the sales uh, person. Then you'll, you'll get the house first. So I would say if somebody pays the house and while you're going to want to drag, then you should deal with those people who are paying that. Those, you know, like while you're going to I know I'm not going to pay at once. But kwa wale watu kama sisi tunajaribu kujikakamua because some of us were tired of here. We want to go back home. But we can't go back home na hata nyumba haijaisha. Mm -hmm. Whatever savings we have, mm -hmm. tunarusha haraka haraka because hii pesa tukaeka kaa kwa bank tunazitumia. Mm -hmm. So try at least. Mm -hmm. If for instance somebody like me ni melipa, like me I paid almost seven point something and I took another house. I mean uh, uh, Windsor Annex B. Mm -hmm. Then I took another, the one you chose for me on the other side. Mm -hmm. But then I decided, you know what, watch any Harakisha mansion mm -hmm. so that Nikwena Nyumba ya Kuishi. Mm -hmm. Then here I'm here, Natuma, my sister, just go check. There's nothing. I dance a key to there's nothing. Until mm -hmm. I pushed, I texted you, I talked to Fabian, I, I've even harassed Zach because of that. Mm -hmm. And communication is so poor. You guys need to improve in that. Please. Thank you. Asante sana, thank you very, very much. Um, that's a very good observation, uh -huh. communication. Uh, somebody else with a question? Uh, is on it tattoo to Meuriza? Hiya, let's go. Habarizini Nini Wote. I'm here because I uh, I purchased one of the houses there. And by the way, you guys are doing a good job because thank you. I'm amazed that you can. I was there back in August and I'm amazed that the project that has started and uh, if you guys gonna complete all of those, oh my God, heads down, you are good at a good job, yeah. But um, my my house is in Wida Annex One. Winter, Winter Annex One. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. And uh, I took it last December, so yeah. I was so excited to go home and see what you guys have been doing mm -hmm. in August. Only to find out that nothing has happened. Winter Annex One. Uh -huh. So mm -hmm. um, and then I pushed and. Uh, your office people, I can say, in my part, they had been, uh, if I pay anything, they always send me a receipt. Mm -hmm. I think it depends with who you're dealing mm -hmm. with. Uh, and, and the boss is going to talk to them. But in my part, I, I don't have a problem with that. In fact, I don't ask for it. It's already in my email. Uh, and also check on your spam because sometimes we go there. Uh, but um, my concern is, you know, the pace of this. If you say that your house is going to be completed in this time, but I don't see anything going and I have to keep, you know, pushing this for a man and everybody. Mm -hmm. And if an agent of you has quit, whoever sold it to me, uh, and this is Dolly. I remember I met him there. Oh, yeah. You remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I had that t-shirt with Dolly and he said, oh, she's the one who's selling you. But she quit. Mm -hmm. So, but, you know, it took me a long time for, for me to get another agent. Mm -hmm. So I was in the darkness and I don't know what is going on. Uh, so again, that that part you need to improve on. But uh, uh, I want to know when it's, this project is going to end, mm -hmm. if it's possible. Yes. Thank you very much. Uh, let's hand those first, please. So point number one, Wetavia, is it? So Wetavia is not bad as it was years back. One thing about that is, Nikama, let me give a good example. Nikama Modaiga na Madale. There's, see, they opposite each other. It just actually the only difference is Dika Superhive cutting across the two. But one thing is uh, on that side of Torah, it's high end. So trust you me, and most times I'll tell you, our estates, not just the civilians buy. We have security officers buying from our, our estate. So at times, even your personal security, one is guaranteed at the, that particular point. But anything left out, we also take measures. That is why in all our gated communities, there will be security 24-7. We do perimeter wall and also uh, an electric fence over and above the perimeter wall. So that even if you're inside or you've left your house unattended, there is someone to look after it at the end of the day. So we take this not as bad as it is. And you can ask people around Tora area. That is why I started by saying there's a ZTEC college there. There's also other can't go downs around that. And again, these things require security because also they are high capital intensive. So they cannot just risk by planting a such a uh, uh, go down there without the relevant uh, security measures. 
being taken into consider consideration of. The second question in the was insurance. Was insurance. Insurance sometimes we don't. Actually, we've never had such a product, to be very honest. But again, I will tell you two, two cases. One, Jeremy Ameniambeni Arakisha. One, um, ni, it's two things. If someone passes on, we look at how much they had paid and our cost variations. If it is worth giving that house out, that is why I said previously, we've given these houses out. Because the dependence when you ako ukijaza your form unanipeaga mutu wanaitua next of kin. Huyo next of kin akikuja kudai nyoba at that particular point is when they are they able to continue or are they able are, are, or do we give them the house? If you have paid over 75% and I still say this tunawapea wapea indefinite payment plan ukipata dhao tano just ile ya kumtia bid are you getting that but if worst comes to the worst i promise i give that house sawa so, sawa so. but again if you paid anything less than 75% i will refund the money without deducting a penny cases that we do not de deduct one is death if someone passes on in our portfolio the next of kings get a hundred percent refund without our deduction secondly is critical illness we are living at ages whereby most of us are getting cancer god forbid no one here will get one <clears throat> but most of we've seen people get cancer and it is finance intensive finance drainer so those Critical illness plus loss of life, we do not deduct at any given point. I, I admit, we've been told, I've been told now that I'm here of our customer care. And trust you me, when I'm going back, that is our, my first assignment that I'm doing. To allow me to say, these people, the reason why I, I, every time I travel, I go with them, is I go with different teams so that they get to experience new lifestyles with people across the globe. Right now, for them, they've been here, they've seen how people do things and how they interact. Trust you me, when we go back, it's the same narrative that we change once more. But again, if the experience have been bad, we will rectify that and I highly apologize for that. Number two was... Um, was eh? Giving priority. Giving priority. For, for that winter annex, we are doing all we can. Remember I said about the echo beam, that was a minus for us. But again, we've already sorted out because we are going the RC way and it will be sorted out. That one I can give you the latest of it. Let me not over promise. <laughs> latest of April, you love your house. Mm. Thank you. Uh, my sister, there latest of April. Okay. Uh, Man, Annex. Ma no, winter Annex. Annex. Thank you. Now, uh, allow me uh, probably not to take more questions, but um, I know you guys have a lot of questions. So if you have any question, Kenya G and his team are here. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry. Oh, thank you so. Okay, sorry. Uh, take, take ignorance. Uh, thank you. Actually, I just want to congratulate thank you, you for the journey. Thank you. I think uh, you are a brave man. Thank you. And uh, on behalf of all these people, why don't you clap for Hip Hip? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hip Hip. Congratulations, Buana. That's a Asante. good uh, at 34. Asante. Oh my goodness. Thank you for a job well done. As uh, some people have pointed out, uh, customer care is very important. In America here, they take it very seriously. So take that and mm -hmm. don't answer everything. Mm -hmm. Let your customer care know everything mm -hmm. and let them handle and you will succeed. Thank you. And then you say 30, 40% uh -huh. always turn back uh -huh. and you have to, you know, and you have committed this money. Yeah. That I know is a very dangerous Stuff. point. Stuff. Because you see banks fall, fall down or banks collapse because mm. of Aruma. Sure. Please do all it takes 
to avoid any rumors. Thank you. Because if all these people start rumors and mm -hmm. withdraw, mm -hmm. it can collapse you even if you are a good man. Completely. Completely. Am I right? Yeah. Thank you. So the other thing I, I just pointed out is that um, uh, you didn't say exactly how you acquired the money and you said you don't have the loan. Uh, we have had uh, Kina Optiven. Mm -hmm. They said equity is mm -hmm. their, is a place where they get their money. Mm -hmm. But uh, you know these people might want to might look at you at your age because uh -huh. most of us are older than you uh -huh. and wonder surely what is this journey. We want to to be uh, inspired by you on that. Uh -huh. The other thing is, are you gonna mix? That those martial nights because most people here are admiring those, correct? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm talking on behalf of them. Mm. Can you mix that project with with this one? Mm. Yeah, mm. half half. Ataka mo tongeza kaki tuki dog. Ama reduce kaki tuki dog. And the last one, uh, I'm sorry. I think I wrote somewhere, but anyway, congratulations for everything. Thank you. Uh, the last one is, uh, do you do bank arrangements for those probably who want to have some financing? Do you have any partnership? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Okay. <laughs> um, let me answer the money issue first. Money, pesa, to, I said in the beginning, to lichanga pesa. So from previous businesses that we had already done, to lichanga to kaanza. But I will not lie that Wilston, we got the equity way. My bank is all of you. I'll, I will demystify it in this way. Wilston, ni kama chama. Ladies half chama. Whereby, and I want to give you a good formula. We are more than 50 because I had done a dinner of around 50. But I thank you guys who came in but large numbers. Out of 50 people, trust you me, watatu per day hawata kosa kunilipa. Are you getting that? So from day one, that was the concept. Again, over the last five years, we've accumulated fun. A revolving fund. Just like wa mama wanakoga na chama, whereby leo wanachanga, kesho wananunulia mtu kitu. Wanachanga, wananunulia mtu kitu. So, that was the concept from the beginning. Then we decided as directors, we are not taking any dividend in the first five years. I've never taken a single dividend for Wilson for the last five years. I'm paid a salary like any other employee. It is a discipline we will instill in the company. So any money that comes in the company, it is well taken care of and factored. Like now, the last audit we did, Wilson have done a transaction of around 8.75 billion in the last five years. It's an evolving fund. Thank you. Sir. Thank you. Where did you get the Wilson? I thought you were a Wilson. Wilson was, uh, we sat down, we searched for like five names, they frogged. And we, as we were, with, you know, when you are young, you interact a lot. So when we were interacting, they are used to, um, I love driving, so I'll carry them any day. So as they, we hovered around Kagudo Road to Kiena Kogaria, Mashamba, Patrick asked, Situ kona will. You have the will. Ya kujenga. Nanini? Na mawe. That is well. Thank you. Asante sana. Thank you very much, Dagisho. Na ninajua sasa tukika hapa tutazidi maswari. And I know some people are going somewhere. And also personally I have a wedding tomorrow here in Washington State. So now, uh, not like it's not my wedding, it's someone's wedding. So. Can, can I say one last thing? Uh, yes. Guys, help me appreciate this man. Thank you. 
on monday on monday when io vurugu ya internet ilikuja i told them i'm canceling my trip because i felt too much bugged up that i decided pengine kuna unajua sisi pia wa biashara tupendani kuna watu wanakupigia wanakupiganga sababu uko hapo tumepigwa vita mingi zingine livenyamjua and he knows because i always keep him on there but first you me this guy gave me a call and i got confidence mm-hmm. are you getting that yes. and i changed the plan not to come actually if you look i will show you the chat nilimwambia nikupate huko ama unipate huko sababu he was in kenya parent so he told me Uh, wake up i felt it was two days to him coming and i felt like it's a whole year i can last ni wache huku alafu ni rudi but he told me hold on you bear itaisha this guy has been my brother i don't pay him i only appreciate him thank you are we getting that i don't pay him i only appreciate him because he chose me and not anybody else and he decided we work together amid so many other developers being back there at home so i always appreciate you jeremy thank, thank you. you for being a true brother thank you sir na asante god kunikereleshaga on their behalf i have to i have to <laughs> and i thank god i wish you guys can understand how many companies how many companies zinakujaga na pesa hata sometime i remember kuna mtu alikuwa ameniletea million to a cash money can you imagine i have this lands in this place and i know where what the diaspora na kusikizanga nitangazie tu kule milioni moja nimwangalia hivi nikamwambia my brother take your money with you i'll call you hata siku ya leo sijampi here you know why if he give me a million and he takes 50 million from you nitajisaidia na nini so it's it's a sacrifice sometimes it's a sacrifice and that's why i have always been with four companies all that time sia tu wengi hawatakangi wanatakanga but i always try to check ni nani huyo mwaminifu hata haribu jina ya Jeremy Damaris the bible says it's a better it's a good good name is better than money than riches so afadhali tujaribu kuweka hiyo jina so when you hear people fighting them please waambie gojeni tuone venye wataenda na mimi i'll be there for you so ladies and gentlemen mimi nafikia tumemaliza so if you want to book a house a unit sasa hizi mko na unit ngapi kwa hiyo estate siko 50 zimebakisha less than half less than half so uh, at least 25 they are gone exactly. so if you want to select a house mm-hmm. uh, utapata mm-hmm. Sylvia utapata Lea utapata Morris go there book your unit na siku book tu na mdomo just book and start doing what you're supposed to do eh? kama ni wanasema kubuku ni 100,000 ama pesa watakwambia i don't know just take it and just start telling me to follow your nyumba next week i'm going to that site kuangalia ni wapi mnajengwa hizo nyumba isikuwe ni kwa mtaro but i know them they 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 got a good place yes mami the payments how you they gonna be doing the payments uh, for today if you don't have a deposit of 2 million you can do a reservation of a minimum of 100000 but deposit we ask for 2 million balance within 15 months sawa so, sawa so, you can either pay it monthly or secondary quarterly or that we can we can pay each other on milestone mm-hmm. milestone ni nikijenga hadi hapa tunalipana nikijenga hadi hapo tunalipana so miles after every mile mm-hmm. of construction thank you very much asante sana sasa si hiyo imetosha gari kuna mtu wako na swali mtatusaidia kunyamazisha watu wa ubea tafadhali i mean hata wakiongea it is when somebody stand and kama huyo anasema 100000 jameni nigi nya screenshot za kwa sposte tema proofi ni magi aranya ndikira kaje ati jeremy ni datu ni rogiri gana ni wilson homes kambia wali kunyaganya ni give me a minute na napigia kenya juu ananiambia wewe ni kwa america let me nikamwambia no you have to send that person 100000 right now unajua alitumiwa pesa saa hizo hizo 100000 sasa atena kani broko <laughs> Mimi si kujua niliona akiweka kwa Facebook kama hizo unasema ulinyanya pesa ngapi kaniambia ni 100000 nikapiga huyo nikamwambia please huyo customer ko Boston nurudishie pesa yake he said money when i was in Kenya nikachukua hiyo pesa nikatumia huyo madam nikamwambia hapo umeweka jina yangu Jeremy Damaris umewesema tumekunyaganya enda uandike Jeremy Damaris amesaidia umelipwa within a minute 
akani block na akachukua screen zangu zangu akaziweka hapo sasa mtu kama wewe nitakusaidia namna gani so please also help us to protect our names hata Mungu ndiye anatusaidia lakini ukiona mtu kama huyo mwilege mudu kila kano kama ulia ugurite sigana ya kuniriku tunajua ya kuniriku kwa sababu as we say au watu hawanunua hawanunua sasa yeye alikuwa anaisha hadi 1000 alikuwa ameweka gani na hakununua hata hiyo nyumba na hiyo estate tunapeana so please guys if you will not buy afadhali unyamaze yule ananyaganyi wanyaga as we speak tumepeana 13 estate na bado kuna mtu anakula pesa yake watu wanalipa rent na wewe ndio inegene huko wapo hivi tu ukanetekea tu inukege humo komande todo ke inuka mo komande ile ke gwele ciana cia wape binari age me hau age seha mandu gutekerera utire we kugureke uyo ni wa gwitu kugone de mo so please let's support each other and god bless you so kenya jui you'll give us a table uh, we're going to have that good time kama hujashiba we have some more food kama ni chakula kinywaji utajijilipia kama iko huko <laughs> tushughulikia kinywaji Uh, but well any other question you can talk to Kenya Jim uh, umundu umundu kama ni picha tunaweza pigwa picha na nyinyi it's okay we are here hakuna mtu tumefukuza kama ni booking ya house chukua nyumba chukua nyumba lecho Patrick kaenya mwe taido umai kule akimende kwa hiyo mimi ni akule akimende umai kule karuka na haki ya Nairobi haya DJ naweza tupeka cool music and uh, we can actually say a word of prayer and then to to get free freestyle kwa mtu watiwa na karuheni matotiga kwa na social media ma okoro wena karuheni matoirire haha i'm asking my good friend is there anybody with a burning question